Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I want to talk about the controversial new um, Netflix special, Dave Chappelle Stick and, Sticks and Stones. Last week we did the other, uh, John and I did the other uh, controversial one, the Bill Burr one. Not Paper Tiger. And also I want to talk about a movie that John and I both watched last Saturday, and because of some of the subject matter, we decided not to review it. I, I think I'm going to review it after the review of the Dave Chappelle Stand Special Six of Stones. All I knew was John said it was really controversial. I heard a couple of people mention, uh, despite controversy and stuff like that, I didn't know how far it went. And then I saw, uh, what is it, like two days ago or something like that? I didn't watch it until after I saw the special. Two days ago, Watch Mojo had like top 10 reactions to Dave Chappelle's special, including like good reviews and bad reviews and people being all mad and all this other stuff. Well, anyways, the, I saw the special and it was awesome. It was really, really funny. Um, I'm sure some of the tab topics were kind of taboo, but it was done in, in, it was done in a daring and funny way. I mean, it's all about... Stand-up comedy is performance art. If you ever seen like George Carlin or something like that, he has like the timing down to his jokes. Then he would like rehearse his. Uh, I remember they heard that he would rehearse his material over and over again until he got just right to where he was comfortable with it. And that's how I mean. I think Dave Chappelle was like that, but his is a little more uh, flows a little more freer. And then there was a part where that guy's cell phone went off, and he uh, he took he took the he. He knew what he has to think on his feet. That's what a comedian does in case something happens in the audience and use that to his advantage for the comedy. And that was really funny, too. I mean, it was brilliant. It was really funny. When he was talking about the French guy, Juicy Smollett, I was like, what the heck are you talking about? And then, like, man, oh, I know who he's talking about. I didn't catch that right off the back. And people were laughing. I thought maybe he made that. Oh, I know who he's talking about. <clears throat> it was awesome. I really liked it. It's a really a lot of fun. Very funny. Controversial. I mean, if you're easily offended, then I probably want to. If you're like one of those people who are easily offended, you know, it's not for easily offended, but it's for people who like to laugh. That's what it, And it makes you think, too. A lot of stuff makes you think. And then it was weird because they showed Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes gave that uh, the disconnect. Because Rotten Tomatoes is like a, a site that uh, where the critics have their opinion then the audience has their opinion and they compare the two like like so many percent like and go up to 100 percent which is surf i think certified fresh 100 percent and then both critics and audience, sometimes critics and audiences agree like on a lot of superhero movies and then sometimes they don't agree and they really didn't agree this time critics only gave this 33 percent and it said um and then uh, someone who was come to, uh, who was coming saying that they think some of those reviews were bogus because they had to keep their jobs, so they had to be pleased and please their employers. You know what I mean? But I mean, they got thirty three percent when the audience gave it ninety nine percent. Now they gave that piece of crap bless the hearts when I when I first checked the review of it after they gave that eighty percent. I can't remember what the uh, but I mean. And Blessed Hearts, that new comedy center, and that has nothing to do with Kevin Hart, who's mentioned in the Dave Chappelle show. Um, Blessed Hearts, the new animated show on Fox. I might give it one more chance because Slow Kids, in, right in between Simpsons and um, oh, Bob's Burgers. I might give it one more chance, but if it doesn't wow well, I me, mean, then I'm not going to watch it again because I really hated it the first time. But I, I love the show. I mean, it was like, it was very, very entertaining. Um, I liked the Bill Burr one, but I didn't think it was as good as this one. It's very entertaining, never boring, ever. And you wonder, what's he going to talk about next? And it was really interesting and fascinating. It does make you think and stuff, you know. I liked his take. I liked what he was like, uh, the way he would go. And then sometimes if he knew he made the audience man, he'd run. Because he's talking about the 36-year-olds. I'm not going to say what he said, but I mean, it's not true, but. And then he ran up there. It was pretty funny. Um, it, it's really brilliant. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's fantastic. Now, next is uh, the movie that John and I were on the fence about reviewing and we are not doing it called 
on uh, it was weird in on we saw it on flight fright picks and that's also on uh, YouTube under Kings of Horror. It's American Terror, and then it was weird because on um, on Fright Picks said American Tragedy, but it's called American Terror, or maybe they changed the name. I don't know. And so uh, this is the part that was controversial, and um, what we're talking about. And John said he was uh, he was he didn't know if he should run it at the at the horror fest or not in 2012, I believe. That's when it came out. By a group of high school kids in trench coats and stuff, and they're bullied by the jocks and the cheerleaders, I guess. And they spray paint their thing, and then uh, their van, and they put it on f Facebook. I mean, on YouTube, and it goes, and, you know, people see it. I don't know how viral it went, but people see it. So they decide to, I got to clean up the land. They decide to take violence upon the school, if you know what I mean. And, uh, <clears throat> and there's three kids, and uh, they split up. And, well, the one kid was going to show the one uh, pistol he got from his dad. He said, this looks like an antique. I will find where to get an arsenal or something like that. And they went, uh, the two, the one kid, the one kid is an asshole. And the other two kids seem like these kids. The one kid's a, a real jerk. Um, and they go, uh, the one kid's driving around and says, I know he gets one. And they said, found some uh, junk company. And he went and he looked at that truck. He said, see the stickers on that truck? And they said, guys, it's redneck. And he said, rednecks like weaponry. And then he said, and he has a thing. And he said, why don't you call him to go get some stuff in Denver, pick up some furniture in Denver. And uh, it'll probably take him a couple hours. And then we'll see where he lives. And then we'll go and we'll steal his stuff. I said, Okay. They call up and they and they said we'll I have to go tomorrow and they they spend the night there. It's outside this junkyard, right? They see him leaving us. Okay, let's go. And they and they break into his place and they find he has an underground like dungeon. It's like a RV and there's like a thing underneath that goes down underneath to some dungeon he has, which is a bad sign right there. And uh, all of a sudden he calls back. He said, uh, "Wait, so I gotta get some. I'll be there in a little bit or something." Might be a little bit. And then it's, oh, no, they're all in, and they're already in there. So they decide to go down to the dungeon. They're trapped in there with this guy, and the guy catches them. And it's the thing of their survival to get out. I really like the movie. I give it up. I think I give it a nine and a half out of ten. It's really good. Um, I don't want to, you know. So they were playing violence, and they found themselves in a violent situation, too. It's really good. It's really good. It's American Terror. It's on King the Whore if you want to see it on on uh, YouTube, but I mean two great mo uh, great movie and two controversial a controversial stand up and controversial. But I mean it's like censoring uh, everything's controversial nowadays. You know, well, you have to really watch yourself. YouTube's become like that too. You have to watch what you say and do and stuff like that. I always you know try to keep it. PG or PG-13, you know, on my channel, or G. It all depends, you know, I don't really say, I don't, well, I don't really say anything that bad. Sometimes the live streams can get a little bit off the rails, but not too bad on a crazy train. But I hope you liked this video, everybody. Till next time, please, take care. Take care, my legion.